pragmatic murder. What MERS is is a common agent for all of those things. And that way, when the servicing changes hands, which is covered under the Truth and Lending Act, there's a hello, goodbye letter. Any time that that changes, that's reflected on the MERS system. But it might reflect it excuse me, it might be reflected on your computer, but is it reflected in the courthouse where the mortgage is recorded? MERS is reflected in the courthouse at all times. And then if Wait a you do they record the assignment there at the courthouse? I can go look it up to see who owns the mortgage. There is no assignment if MERS is the mortgage. That's what I'm getting at. You just said the word, so you corrected yourself. So actually what you're doing with the electronic transfer is you taking the place of historically the property laws of the state. Is that wrong or right? That's correct. And it is true that MERS is, has the case from New York, um, Romania, there have been several cases where clerks challenged the MERS recordation because it removes from the public record any chain of title. And it does complicate um, homeowners' attempts to discover who the current holder of the mortgage is. Well, isn't this part of the problem in the foreclosure process? People are saying, I'm asking you this morning, that you don't really own this mortgage. You have no, you, you have a, there's no record of you owning it. How can you foreclose on it? Is that 